Scott Hendrickson from Mind Place. We had a user ask on the transparent forum how to sync spectrostrobe with uh, environmental sound effects, for instance, uh, thunderstorm um, and mine workstation specifically. So we'll show how to do a very basic version of that. To be honest, I wouldn't use mine workstation entirely to do this kind of procedure but with some of its built-in tools and engines you can actually get a very good simulation and get started a long way and then if you wanted to do some post-processing or add some other tracks later you could do that but let's just show quickly one way to approach doing that here in mine workstation alright so what we want to do is just use the built-in tools that's going to be the the rule of this video is I'm just going to use what tools are available to me in mine workstation so I'll use the ambience generator and what we want to do is select one of the presets and here's thunderstorm so we will use that now we only want you'll notice there's thunder there's some thunder claps or some rumbles and claps and then there's rain and wind and some wind gusts now we only want for this track the thunder so let's start here and start deleting the rest of these all the way down into where I just have the thunder rumble and thunder claps okay so we'll also want to go ahead and make these play very in a thick bed okay you know play a lot play one right after the other um, and have a very thick bed of the sounds so we're gonna set the time for each one to about two seconds one second around that period um, let's do five for instance for this one and we'll do four and three back to two and then the clap will do one and five and then just let this one have a bit of variety and we don't want the sounds meshed together completely we kinda do want some randomness along with them and they are very short sounds so if we would let them loop they would just be a constant um, you know annoying clashing sound that's not what we want we just want kind of a mix so we could preview the ambience now so you get an idea that by itself it wouldn't be very pleasant to listen to but after we do some of these techniques you'll see that it works well okay so we'll stop that um, let's go ahead for each one or just a few of them and set some random panning in fact they've already got it in the preset so we're good to go there okay fine so let's accept that that creates our ambience generator track alright so what we want to do now is we want to go and edit the ambience generator sound and we'll want to vary the volume okay so we're going to generate some nodes here and we're going to choose a random node and we want it to be quite a few nodes generated so I'm going to do 0 0.1 to 0 0.4 okay and then random values this is a volume track so between 0 and 100 that'll give me complete silence all the way up alright so we're good there so that generates quite a few nodes but you'll notice there's very few of the zeroed out nodes so we want this to be a lot more spiky than it is so a quick way to do that is to go into the generate nodes again and we want to create a node every 0 0.1 again we want a lot of nodes to 0 0.2 and this time we'll specify the node values rather than random so we're just going to put zero there we don't want this is very important we don't want to replace the existing nodes we want these nodes to be added to the ones that are already there so that creates a much more spiky kind of look now let's go ahead and play the thunder and see what we get
so it's it's off right now and see then a little bit will pop up and then at certain times you'll see that it's let me use Jesus to just sweep through it right you'll see at certain times it's pretty loud thunder sometimes it's really silent just a small emphasis but you see that that bed of sound that's repeating over and over again if we use the volume nodes to bring it up and down then it's kind of a fade in and fade out so it mimics the sound of thunder rolling in and then crescendoing alright so having done that let's add a spectroscope track so we go to content my machines we're going to just add the simple spectra strobe track which triggers all three of the LEDs together so red green and blue will all trigger at one time and that'll give us a white flash feel and that'll be appropriate for for this in again this most basic way of doing it but here's the trick right so we've got a volume track mapped out with all of these nodes then we added the spectra stroke track and we're on the brightness of that so if we right click and choose sync with other block okay select the block we're going to go to the ambience generator its volume track okay and we're going to map it now this default value is not what we want we want from 0 to 100 because that was our full volume range and we'll leave the spectra strobe at 0 to 100 as well and there you go now you've mapped spectra strobe to that volume track so they match exactly as soon as the thunder fades in the spectra strobe will fade in as well alright now just to add a little bit of of a variety of the bed we'll go back to our ambience generator and we'll get our uh, thunderstorm again and we could take out the thunder entirely let's leave a few claps in there they won't match with the spectrostrobe but it'll be okay um, and leave the rain this time we do want the rain we want the wind we want the wind gusts okay and we'll go ahead and accept whatever their default settings are on that and volume and pan and and how often they're played and once we play that together got a nice rain background then we have some thunder over the top with spectra strobes synced to it and there you go that's the easiest possible way to do this in mine workstation now to be honest with you I would actually do some of this in the digital audio workstation you could do it with the Moolab plugins where you're tracking certain frequencies uh, with the sound as it comes up you could make sure that you're tracking just the volume peaks if the thunder is a lot louder than the rain there's really better ways to do this but this is a quick quick method uh, that uses maybe a technique that you didn't know about which is to sync the block with another block create a solid bed of thunder sounds with the ambience generator and then use the random generators to create a lot of nodes that you sync to so I hope this helps and that you get some use out of environmental sounds synced to spectrostrobe.